left and egg. This is bad. Really bad. Look at this. Just getting battered by the wind. Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. So today we're wild camping at Kada Idris. It's an absolutely stunning location. We're camping in a storm. We're right in between the storm at the moment. So hopefully we'll be able to do a bit of the hard hiking early on before the weather really turns and closes in on us. Right, here we are, Kada Idris, all parked up and the weather is just starting to change. So the first hike today is the Minford Path at Kada Idris. So because we are wild camping in the storm, not taking any chances today. Uh, there's four of us that know what we're doing. We've got all the gear, and I'm in all the gear, about 20 kilo backpacks each. So we should be prepared for every eventuality. So we're in the middle of this storm. I'm trying out my brand new Garmin InReach 2 Mini. So it's a really good satellite device. It's an SOS device. So if you become stuck, you've got an SOS button that you can call. Hopefully we won't need that, but it's better to be safe than sorry, especially in conditions like this. So as well as testing out my Garmin InReach 2 Mini, I'm also testing out this Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Watch, which so far I've got to say I'm really, really impressed. Connected to GPS really fast, easy to upload the maps, and let's see how good this watch really is. So the weather conditions later on are supposed to get up to over 100 kilometer an hour winds. So real storm winds coming. Um, we've already been through torrential rain and snow. And we've got this nice patch here, which is all green and the wind's backed off a bit, so I can actually do some video recording rather than you guys just listening to a load of wind whistling past the microphone. So the first part of this hike on the Mindford path is pretty much steep all the way up, straight up, no warm up, no messing about, just get stuck in. So our wild camping destination for tonight in Snowdonia is Lynn Cow, which is approximately about 500 metres above sea level, about 1500 feet. So it's probably just over halfway, maybe two thirds of the full elevation of Kada Idris. Bought my crampons today just in case, and this is why. Earlier on, certainly, there's thick snow. Don't know if it's going to get rained off, but there certainly was a lot of snow at the top. Oh, the rain's coming in now. <sighs> going to be a wet one today, <laughs> and an absolutely soaking evening. Well, starting to get battered by Storm Eunice now. It's gonna be gonna be a long day. 
probably an even longer night wild camping in a storm. Footpaths turning into waterfalls. So here we are then. This is where we're camping tonight. And God, storm units is really starting to like batter us. Now, what we're gonna do is go up, go up to the top, across the ridge line and do these summits. Now I'll try and video what I can, but I mean, it's gonna be so windy up there. And then we're gonna come all the way back round, work our way back up to the tarn. What a place to wild camp though, look at that. That is camping at its best. Nice little break from the wind, but starting to get caught up in the clouds. And this is treacherous, really, really treacherous. Last little bit to the summit now, just up there to the top and then we made it. What a day, look at this. Come on, we're nearly there. So we're getting there now, that's 912 metres, we've sort of bimbled up really. But to be fair to us, I mean the conditions are, they're bad, they're really bad. So it's taken us a long time to summit Cadiz. However, we've done it safely. Well, as safe as you're gonna get. We've just taken our time. That little bit more time that you spend just making sure your footing's right makes a massive difference. Just tell you what, if you try and rush these things, you're gonna get yourself in all sorts of trouble. So just take your time. But, we're getting there. Here we go. It's all ice up here. Flip and heck. Look down there. Sheer drop. Absolute sheer drop. Flip and heck. This is bad. Really bad. So close now, final push. I have no idea what the wind is, this is crazy. That's it, that's it up there. Oh, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. God knows what this wind speed is, it is insane. God. This we made it though. Top of Kadir Idris. This is silent, absolutely silent. Gorgeous. A little bit of wind. The wind must be on the other side. This is lovely here. Right, time to put the lead here. Right, so we finally made it down. Certainly down before it gets dark. So now what we're going to do is just go right down to the bottom, and then let's go camping.
plenty of storm damage around here. This is exactly why I won't camp in the woods on a stormy day. It's just not worth it. So after tough day in the mountains, Cada Idris, certainly Testa today, managed to get back to the car before dark. However, he then needed to pick up some more gear to come up here, which was savage. It was so, so, so hard, but we made it. So I'm looking forward to my ribeye steak and my Mexican rice, which I'm just gonna fry up. I've also bought my little GSI spice missile with some steak seasoning, some black pepper and some salt. And I've also bought some extra virgin olive oil as well. So I'm gonna prep my steak and then get it cooking. Bit of salt, bit of black pepper, get it on there. Oh, it smells good, that seasoning. Right, so I'm using my jet boil minimo. Don't cook in your tent. If you get away with it in your vestibule, don't put it in your tent. Got my jet boil summit skillet, ceramic pan. It's just the best. It is the best. Don't care what anyone says. Get my olive oil in there. Oh, let's get this on. Right, look at that bad boy steak. Oh, yes, yes. And to go with my ribeye steak, I've done it again. People say you can't do this. You can't cook steak on the mountain, and you can't take a bottle of wine on the mountain. Well, I do. And it is Trevento Melbeck. Mmm. Oh, oh, hit the spot. Look at that. Take a look at that. Oh, nearby steak on the mountain. Right, now for the rice. You can fry these microwave rices. Same sort of thing, really. Get that in there. Some rubbish. There's my rice cooking. Steak on a mountain, not just any steak, ribeye steak on a mountain. You can cook proper food on the mountain really easily. So, now for a taste test. All this means nothing if it doesn't taste amazing. Let's get this. A bit of ribeye, a bit of rice. Let's make it count. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I love being soft. Rice should cook nice too. That, my friends, is how to cook steak on the mountain. So good. I'm telling you. A bit of Melbeck. Mmm. Mm. Cheers.
So this is what we did today, 15.34 kilometers, so basically 10 miles. Ignore the average speed because the time's wrong because I didn't have auto pause on. There we go, max heart rate, 161 ppm. All my stats of how I was pushing myself. Total ascent, 1,400 meters. Which is not bad to be honest, that's about four and a half thousand feet, so I'm well chuffed with that. Good day's work that. And this is a map of what we did today. This is the elevation profile, so we made it all the way up to the top. Had a address, came back down, came back to the car to get some more stuff. And that rolling climb back up to where we're camping, that was hard. So one thing I really, really liked about today, which I've never had before, is that confidence that if you're going to get into a lot of trouble, there is a way out and this is it, the Garmin InReach Mini 2. It's just, it's just nice having that peace of mind, even though you're like skilled, experienced, you know, you still never know what's going to happen. But it's just a nice peace of mind. So I'd say well, if you can, it's a lot of money, £350. Um, I think subscriptions are from like £15 a month. But it gives you peace of mind. But if it's you and your friend or you and your mates, buy one between you. It makes you feel much more confident taking on challenges like this going out in a storm and while camping in the storm. Tell you what, I'm so lucky. This Rab has sent 1100 sleeping bag. It's insane. The loft is just absolutely full of down. It's the warmest thing I've ever slept in. So super cozy after a long day. Well fed, well watered and I've pitched Mahillaberg solo properly so hopefully if the storm winds do come during the night hopefully it's not going to move around too much so far we've had a lot of rain a lot of wind I mean I, I can't video it because it sounds terrible but it's solo it's, it's bloody it's, it's such a good time also treating myself too the world's most expensive pillow, a Nemo Philo pillow. Um, it's it's pretty big and it weighs quite a lot, but I'm telling you, it's it's lovely. It's, it's as comfy as the pillow on my bed at home. So that's me done for today. Shattered. I'll see you in the morning. Right, let's get this brew on. So the coffee for this morning is Columbia Medium Strong. And I need a strong coffee. Look at this. Just getting battered by the wind. Battered all night. Made it though. Hilleberg solo. Made it again. Tell you one thing though. <laughs> Absolutely roasting in this rab sleeping bag. It's just too much. It's just too much. It needs to be about minus 10. It's just in my box all night. <laughs> so far. leave that for eight minutes so this morning for breakfast I've actually got a bacon roll I'm cooking a bacon roll on the mountain not only did I bring steak but I also bought bacon too and a buttered tiger roll so it's gonna taste amazing
These little Nalgene bottles are brilliant too. Cheap off Amazon. It's not looking very good out there today. <laughs> oh my God. So in a minute, I'll take you for a little tour around my pitching spot. Also, I'll take you around where my other mates pitch to. Some are better than others. Time's not down. Well, I'm more than happy to pay the money for my gear. Just wouldn't really watch my gear unless I have to. This, this is when the decent gear pays dividends. Now, I'm not saying couldn't do what we're doing in cheap tents and cheap sleeping bags and stuff but I think the experience would be different Even though I've had very little sleep, oh, it's such a good feeling waking up somewhere like this in the morning. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm trying to pack away this tent. It's going to be a nightmare. Right, that is it. Look at that. Oh, it's going to taste so good. Right, turn this off. Still sizzling. Where's that rock? Right, so this is where I pitched my tent last night. As you can see, the guy lines have all slackened off. There's nothing I can do about that. Ground's just so soft. But I had like a little bit of shelter around here. But with Storm Eunice, to be honest, it was just swirling around here. Really swirling around here. So, during the course of the night, I think I had rain and strong winds from every single direction. But, solo didn't let me down. And certainly the structure didn't move at all. So let's take a look inside. That's where I'll do all my cooking in the vestibule area. That's where I put my backpack down there and any wet gear inside, sleeping mat, electronics, and that massive wrap sleeping bag. So this is where Mark and Brian are behind this rock. However, the wind direction was coming from here. <laughs> so it didn't really do a great deal. So Mark's got his Terra Nova Pioneer 2 that I absolutely love and B's has got his MSR Elixir 2. Both seem to be in one piece. <laughs> so it's always the same. But I was just getting like peppered basically from the from the rain on the side that I was sleeping, which is a bit unlucky. Oh, the rain's coming in now. Oh. Was it? God. 
Whoa. Poor little tent. Let's go see where Dave is. Dave's over here. Dave at the best spot. Look at this. Tucked away between two big rocks. Whoa. Whoa. How you doing Dave? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, I think all our tents survived, so yeah, 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 it's bad, really bad. Oh, the ground just saturated, and these were not like this yesterday. This is all from the rain that we had last night. So much rain. Look at that. So what a wild camping adventure this has been. Whew. Hiking in some really bad conditions with a big bag on. Whew. That summit was really hard, covered in snow, covered in ice. The descent was sketchy. Had to put the crampons on for a little bit. The Salomon boots are awesome, absolutely awesome. But sometimes you just need that little bit of helping hand. But it's gone really well, actually. I'm well chuffed, you know. We set ourselves these challenges, do a lot of planning, and you know it paid off for us. So chuffed a chuffed a bit. All I'd say is for anyone thinking about doing the same, is just make sure you take all the gear. Looks like there's another wild camper over there. I'm not the only nutcases to try this. Absolutely brutal storm. Whoa! <laughs> just wants to fly away. <laughs> I just, uh, I'll keep that one on. Yeah, cheers, mate. Is that it? But bearing in mind, I had, I had a reasonable amount of protection. It's just um, it's just so unlucky. I was sleeping this side, and this was the side that was getting battered by the wind the most. I was well impressed with my tent last night because, like I said, the door bits, these bits were like halfway across <laughs> the tent. So I had to itch myself over. Let's just get there. But the frame didn't move. Yeah, yeah, that's the main thing. Like, you're never going to... I mean, in so, in so two, I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Left it just like I found it. Leave no trace. Storm view is definitely not letting up. It's just as bad today as yesterday. Don't be one of these people that tries to go winter backpacking with like a sub eight or 10 kilo bags. Don't bother, it just means you haven't got the right gear. Take the right gear and you'll be all right. But I'd certainly suggest going at least in a pair, you know, just in case the worst does happen. But anyway, hope you like this video. Check out my videos, got over a hundred out there and hope to see you wild camping soon. Cheers.